James Wells. He came into Ramona and Maya's, my life, 1987, back from a trip from Jamaica. And uh, we got connected because his mother got touched in a healing meeting that we did early on before that. He really uh, is a, a wonderful man of God. And he loves Jesus. And he is really out there for Jesus. The Lord gave me a word for you when you're done. Oh, and Pastor Andy's going to be doing an interpretive dance, right? Yeah, he's going to come up in a minute and dance to the song that I'm going to share. You know, I just love this family so much because apart from the faithful network, which are mostly overseas, this is the closest I have to a family in Christ. So it really means a lot to me to be here tonight. And uh, I, I'm going to just let you know a, a, a few of the things I have up at Huck Lab. This book, The Wild and Crazy Buddy Willows and How He Found God at the Wrong End of a 357. I was a baseball star traveling even internationally by the time I was 12 as a catcher. And yet my family broke up, so by the time I was 13 or 14, I got in marijuana three times a day, smoking and selling it. And my get up and go kind of got up and went, and I became really lawless. I became kind of a local outlaw whose name was synonymous with, yeah, he's probably in jail. And I was on probation, and when I got saved, this talks about how I got saved in a game fight when my name left. My probation officer took one look at me and said, buddy, you're a complete different person, aren't you? And I said, yeah, I am. Jesus changed my life. And he said, I know, I can see it. So if anybody wants one of those, there's a copy of that. And I've gotten to sing in 37 countries of the world, and this is my best CD. Here's the free copy of that. Anybody wants one? And I was a broke missionary. When you come from Hungry Horse, there's not a lot of people that want to support you. You know, this is a small community, and the church is small. And I really was uh, not only a, a faith missionary, but a broke missionary. <laughs> and after a while, the Lord showed me an acrostic, a system to prosper. And I implemented it in an old, nasty, run-down trailer. And it's that business that many of you come to today, and it's very prosperous. The verse God gave me was, and God is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance, so that you, always having all sufficiency for your personal needs, can also give to every good work. Amen. And so if anyone wants to take a step into that, here's that free book. But when you're, when you're doing a business, your time to go around is a little more limited, so I, God created a way for me to go around by video, and even since the camp started, I've spoken like three or four times in Africa, Pakistan, and India. And it's the wonderful thing that Susie asked me to share a little about. I don't know if these lights dim. If they do, that'd be nice. But even if they don't, there's a three-minute video that shows about the faithful network. Sal and two cubs. Paul and an angry. This is the day I arrived in Uganda and I almost stepped on a cobra and I ministered there for two or three months and God spoke to me that I would have a training center that would focus on church planting and he also spoke that the vision would come to a death but at the appointed time it would come forth. It did die but with the invention of YouTube and my YouTube channel, it sprang back to life and has gone worldwide. Teachable and willing to change. Praise the Lord. Hi, I'm James Willows, and I have been traveling into the nations, ministering the gospel of Christ for about 40 years now. I've been to 37 different countries doing concert crusades, speaking in churches, in some cases helping plant a church. 
And as I've demonstrated that I have a heart for the nation, so many look to me and want me to give them support. And I've just been inundated by requests and I thought, man, what am I going to do? And so what I've done is create something called the Faithful Network. And I create good, dynamic, solid teaching, usually in a 10-point format. And these churches play my videos in their church and then I give them $30 when they show the proof video and send me what the 10 points were. This gives the pastors a needed break to do something special with their family maybe. And it also gives them a little cashola for their churches. Second Timothy 4, 6 to 8. For I am already being poured out like a drink offering. My boss didn't like me from the start and that's why I never got promoted. Now, if they are faithful for one year, then they produce a video and we show that video to the worldwide network. From June 22nd to June 25th, I spoke in these three congregations while I worked at Huckland. Don't think twice about giving that thought access. This giant of a man defying the armies of Israel. How you deal with the negatives in your world. No matter how much you console them, You'll never cheer them up. We love you. Praise God. You know, we, we have probably a very long-standing uninterrupted prayer meeting because I and the pastors, there's 11 that did it in the month of June. We gather every Saturday morning for fasting and prayer, and, and we lift each other up. Because I've been a pastor for some time and I noticed that the greatest attack always comes before the Sunday service. So we do a preemptive fasting and prayer on Saturday. And it's a good thing we do because a lot of our churches go through stuff. About a month ago, one of them had a, a guy with a knife come in and he attacked the first lady and sent her to the hospital. And other things like that happen. So we keep everybody lifted up in fasting and prayer on Saturday. We've gone nonstop, never missed once for over four years. And some of the churches that we started partnering with in the early stages just rented a piece of land, but now we're building buildings. And so that's happening all over the world, well, in mostly five countries. And we're grateful for that. All right, Pastor Andy and my wife and, and son, I'd like to invite them up if you can see the blessing, the big strap and son of the Lord. Bless us with he was 10 pounds at birth. Wow. <laughs> I really love that leader's luncheon and that preaching Eric and the prophecy. Oh, it was something. When Pastor Tim talked about a Christian worldview and how few people have a Christian worldview in our society. And so I wanted to take media from a Christian worldview, and I have reached a lot of people with my YouTube channel. It has over 10,000 subscribers, it's simply called James Willows, and my most interesting stuff is Bigfoot and Grizzly Bear. I've had a lot of Grizzly Bear encounters. That's one I had Wednesday that I showed you up there. And one person in Siberia wrote me and said, I came to your channel because of Bigfoot, but I came to Christ because of your channel. Hallelujah. <laughs> this is a song the Lord gave me called The Waters Rising. And here in Montana, we have a very scant snowfall compared to normal. And our snowpack was way below average. We were in trouble. But in our church, about a month ago, I sang this song and then another anointed song called Rating, by the way, and it just started to pour for about nine days, and I, I read in the newspaper, the latest downpour has totally almost made up for the lack of snow. So it's an anointed song, I encourage you to, to sing and worship the Lord with. Okay, we are ready?
James and Mary, why don't you come and just stand right there? Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah, down here. Yeah, yeah just face everybody. Yeah. There we go. I want to let you. Awesome. The Father's been speaking to me about your business. And I know it's been heavy on your heart, says the Lord. I know the struggles that you've had having good health. Health that can stay and work and not leave because of different things that the enemy has done to chase them away. But I want to tell you this, James. The Father is saying, I am doing a shift now in your business. The shift is going to be such that the presence of God will be so strong in that business that when people walk in, they will feel it and sense it, and many will be coming to the Lord. But not only that, but the employees will sense it. And they'll want to work there because there's so much joy. You know, taking away the stress, of taking away all the worry, all the anxiety of it, and it's going to be a place of joy, a place of working for joy. You will see people knocking on your doors and say, can I work there? Can I work for you? Says the Lord. Amen. Hey, you're special. 